Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video, we're going to be covering questions 102 and 103, or Unit 33, of the third section of the Green Booklet. So this is a question about Gibbs free energy and enthalpy and entropy changes. Uh, 102 says, for the change that occurs when steam condenses, what sort of changes are happening with enthalpy and entropy? Um, so when steam condenses, we're moving from a system of chaos to something of more order, when you're going from this gaseous state into um, a more organised liquid state. And this would be a negative change in entropy, because entropy is just a measure of disorder. So we know that um, entropy is going to be negative. Uh, so what about enthalpy? Well, enthalpy is a measure of the energy that the particles themselves will have, the potential energy these in themselves will have. And if it's going from a, a warmer state to a colder state, generally that will be um, a negative change in enthalpy. The alternative would be, for example, going from a liquid state to a gaseous state. Um, this would be a delta positive um, entropy change because the particles would have to absorb energy in order to um, evaporate. But because steam is condensing, it will go the other way and it will be a negative change then. So we know these are both going to be negative and that gives us an answer for B. So 103 uh, talks about how mercury can react with water and um, we're asked whether or not this will occur spontaneously and if so at what sort of temperature. So we've got an equation of delta G equals delta H minus T delta S um, and we're told that this is going to be negative and reactions occur um, spontaneously if delta G is going to be less than zero. Um, so if it's going to occur spontaneously the overall value has to be negative. Because the entropy change is going to be negative and the temperature multiplied by this is taken away, this overall bit will be positive. So really we're going to be adding uh, a negative thing uh, to a positive thing, or in other words, maybe taking away the enthalpy change, whatever, whatever way makes more sense in your head. And so that means that there's going to be a temperature um, above which this isn't going to be spontaneous. If it is very, very, very hot and the entropy change, and um, therefore this side of the equation will be more positive than this is negative, and it means overall delta G would be positive. So there's a temperature above which this reaction wouldn't happen. And um, that means that the answer for 103 is going to be D. This reaction may only occur spontaneously for temperatures below a certain maximum value. And that's really just because as you increase temperature, this bit becomes more positive and will outdo the negative effect of the enthalpy here, meaning that overall we'll have a positive uh, delta G. And with Gibbs free energy, uh, there's sort of three reactions. Um, if it's positive, the reaction doesn't occur spontaneously. If it's zero, then it depends on the temperature and if there's a catalyst or something. And then if it's negative, then it will occur spontaneously. So. And there are the three conditions there. That's why we've got an answer of D for question 103. So there were a couple of questions on Gibbs free energy.